morning students in the last class we studied about magnetic field lines right how we will get a magnetic field lines around a bar magnet so today we will start some more, some more different pattern of magnetic field lines they will produce with different shapes of conductor okay so we have three main sub topics here that is magnetic field lines produced with a straight current carrying conductor than with circular loop and the next one is solenoid so all the three are based on activities so based on activities we can say that these type of pattern we will get these type of pattern of magnetic field lines we will get so let us see one by one so remember all the three are important that is magnetic field lines with straight current carrying conductor see straight current carrying conductor conductor and the next one is circular loop and the next one is coil which is named as solenoid okay so all the three you should learn in this today's class so straight conductor you should get like this our copper wire what is circular loop if you bend this one will look like a circular loop right so we have two terminals so we can use these two terminals for the connection so this is a one single circular loop but here we are using a number of circular loops and then two terminals will connect with circuit then what about coil it's the same from a straight conductor if you bend like this we will get a circular loop if you keep on making the coils so like this we get this is called as coil and also called as solenoid and i will explain what exactly the definition of solenoid when i explain this third topic okay so in today's class let us understand all the three and remember all the three are important as well as diagrams are very much important how we will connect these uh, copper uh, wire in the circuit so we will understand let us start today's class so let us understand magnetic field due to current carrying straight conductor with an activity here first we need to make a circuit setup so our electrical circuit contains key with a battery and a meter and here we have a variable resistance which is fixed throughout the experiment so this is how these are the devices which we are using in this activity so after connecting everything with the connecting wires let us select our conductor that is nothing but insulated copper wire which is connected in between these x and y terminals okay so this is our straight conductor it is copper wire okay so the next step is we should take a cup thick cargo sheet and insert it in the middle of this middle of the copper sheet should be inserted with copper wire okay that means we will get like this so somewhere here we inserted the copper wire okay so this is the setup so this copper sheet should be uh, inserted in such a way it should not slide up and down so it should fixed properly using some stands and all so this is how it looks so later on what we need to do to know the direction of uh, sorry what uh, pattern of magnetic field lines in the bar magnet what we used we used iron fillings right the same thing we should use here so just sprinkle the iron fillings around this conductor on on the cardboard sheet so understood the third step second is we insert in this cardboard sheet and the setup is done and the third step is sprinkle the iron fillings on this cardboard sheet now the setup is everything is ready now by switching on the current the current started to flow so when the current is started to flow we know that the current will be flowing in this conductor also when the current started to flow we will get a magnetic field so gently tap on the cargo sheet for few times so gently tap on the cargo sheet for two three times or few times what happens the iron fillings start to align themselves around this conductor so now let us see how they will start this they will start to 
arrange themselves on a this carbon sheet around the conductor with concentric circles. I hope you are uh, able to see this and look at the above diagram also. They are starting to arrange themselves with a concentric circles. So here we understood that the magnetic field lines, the pattern of magnetic field lines are concentric circles where a straight conductor. So if we deeply observe this concentric circles, we can say that the concentric circles are more and closer to one another near this conductor. As it goes away, we can observe gaps between the concentric circles. So by this we can say that the strength of magnetic field is more near the conductor and the strength of magnetic field is weaker as it goes away from the conductor. So understood? Here from this explanation we can say that magnetic field is directly proportional to strength of the current. If the current is more, we will get more constant or magnetic field lines. Okay? That means strength of magnetic field will be more. And the magnetic field is inversely proportional to distance from the conductor. So these are the points which comes under this current carrying straight conductor. And one more important point is that now we got the magnetic field lines. So once we got the magnetic field lines, the next step is to know the direction of magnetic field lines. So here do we know the direction of current? Yes, right. The current starts flow from positive terminal to negative terminal. Hence, the direction of current is like this. So, just observe here. This is downwards, right, in this conductor. The direction of current is downwards. So, based on the direction of current, we need to find out the direction of magnetic field. To know the direction of magnetic field, we have one more subtopic here that is called as right hand thumb rule. Understand this, we need to experiment like take your right hand. So this is our right hand. So always remember, in the right hand, the thumb always point towards the direction of current. And the curl of these um, tips of fingers will show the direction of magnetic field lines. So I hope you are getting this. If you take our right hand, the thumb always point towards the direction of current. So direction of current, that is current can be indicated by I, okay, the direction of current. And this curl of the tips of these fingers, which is around the thumb finger, will show the direction of magnetic field lines. For example, I will take this stick, so I will hold like this. So if I hold like this, that means if the current is passing upwards, so we will get the direction of magnetic field lines this way. For example, if current is flowing downwards, then the direction of magnetic fields, these fingers will show like this. Okay. So this is what right hand thumb rule. If they ask the definition what is right hand thumb rule, all you need to just write. If you take a right hand, the thumb points towards the direction of current and the fingers around the current will show the direction of magnetic field lines. Now I hope you understood what is right hand thumb rule. So based on this let us solve one problem which was given in example problem. Okay? If you know that we are able to guess the direction of magnetic field in this also. So now let us see what was that question. So in your textbook look out 13.1 question. A current through a horizontal power lines flow in east to west. A current through a horizontal power line flow in a east to west. So look at this. Here they are given horizontal. Horizontal means if this is our sheet, we should keep like this. That means uh, 3D dimension they will give. So let us understand in 2D. What is the direction of magnetic field at a point directly below it and at a point directly above it? So let me write the question. What was the idea one? So here, let us write like this. This is our direction. Here they are telling that the current is, the power flows in 
east to west. So this is the direction of current. So let me write like I. I is what? Which represents the current. So the current is flowing from east to west. So what we need to find here? What is the direction of magnetic field at a point directly below it and at a point directly above it? Carefully understand the question. We need to find out the direction of current below and above it. For example, the current is flowing like this. So let me hold like this. Let me apply our right hand thumb rule. So take your right hand and since the current is this way, show your thumb towards like this. No, this is what that is called as below and this part is called as above. So let us find out for example, you get magnetic field lines like this. So if I hold like this, see the current. So this is our current term which is flowing from east to west. And I hold like this, just observe here, the magnetic field direction is coming like this. That means this way. And what happens? Above, this above part, it is going like this. Right. So this is the direction. So we need to give two answers. Below and above. The below is the back side of this one. So that below we can tell that the direction of magnetic field, magnetic field can be represented by B. Okay. The direction of magnetic field lines below is from north to south. Right. North to south. And what happens above? So above is from south to north. So this is the answer, but in the textbook they are given anti-clockwise and clockwise which is actually when we make this uh, activity in a horizontal plane, you can say that from this um, west side it will be anti-clockwise and from this east side it will be clockwise like that. So no need for any confusion, if you write this one, they will get a marks, okay. So I hope you understood, below it's from north to south and above it's from south to north. This is the answer. Now we understood what is right hand thumb rule, right? Now let us apply the same thing in a magnetic field due to current carrying conductor, straight conductor. So here, after knowing all the points, we have one point that the direction of magnetic field lines either can be detected by compass or right hand thumb rule. How we will get the direction with compass? We know that the needle will show on whether it is uh, originating from north or south. So based on if you keep the compass everywhere, we will get the direction. Whether it is flowing this way or that way. So one is from compass. If not, another one is from right hand thumb rule. Now observe the current is flowing like this. So take your right hand. So keep this in a way. So if you keep like this. Observe, these are my fingers, rest of the fingers are showing the direction of magnetic field lines. That means the magnetic field lines are in this direction. Okay, I hope you understood. This is all about current carrying straight conductor. That is magnetic field produced in a straight conductor. Now let us take how it looks. The experimental setup is done as shown. And uh, here on the carbo sheet, we are taking iron fillings. So see, we'll sprinkle the iron fillings on the carbo sheet. And later, we'll plug the key so that the current can pass. So once the current started to flow in, insulated copper wire, observe the pattern of iron fillings. We got concentric circles. Now let us understand magnetic field due to current through circular loop. I told if we have a straight conductor, if we bend that one, we will get one circular loop like this or this way. Right. So for example, if you make a number of turns, so if you have one end here, if you make number of turns, later on if you take, you will get two terminals. Again, right, this is nothing but circular loop. So it is also explained through an activity. 
So here take one carbo sheet, a rectangular carbo sheet and make a two holes. Let it be A and B. Okay. Then insert the copper loop inside the holes. So we should insert in such a way that the two terminals will be lying outside. Okay. So when this is how the first setup. Later on with the two terminals, here I am just showing only one circular loop. If you take the first one, if you make a number of turns, then again we will get the another terminal, right? So then the terminals should be connected to key and a battery. So this is the first setup, experimental setup. Now as usual, we should take the identical links and sprinkle on the cargo sheet. Now, he, see here we have the positive terminal that means the current is flowing in this way. Right? The current is, see always write the direction of current. So the current is flowing in this way. So we sprinkle all the identical links. So once when we started to pass the current, tap the rectangular combo sheet thrice or four times and you can observe that the alignment of iron buildings are taking place and they will arrange in such a way same as earlier but here there was we have only one straight conductor so we can observe only one uh, conductor so here we have two points A and B so here we have the concentric circles around both the sides A and B so this is what we will get I hope you understood after sprinkling the iron fillings, when we pass the current and if we tap the carbo sheet, we can observe that the alignment of iron fillings takes place on the carbo sheet in the pattern is concentric circles. So this is what the experiment tells. So here also we need to find the same thing that is the magnetic field, the direction of magnetic field. And let me show this one. So this is of a concentric circle. So look at this. I mean, uh, this one particular circular loop. So we have two ends here, right? So let it be A and let it be B. So here we can observe that we got a concentric lines on both the sides, and we get the circles like this, right? So we can observe that as the same earlier itself. The concentric circles will be more at the conductor and that as it goes away we can observe there will be a large gap in the circles and one more point here we need to observe that as the circles going far and far that is almost at the center of this carbo sheet we can observe that those straight uh, those curved circles are getting almost straight so these curved circles as they go away from this point of conductor they are getting in a straight manner so if we go once they will become like a straight this is the one more point we need to observe here so here we will get a two diagrams if they ask how magnetic field lines will produce in a circular loop that means if they ask you to explain the whole experiment you need to write this diagram if they ask only write the pattern of magnetic field in a circular loop then you should write this diagram okay so here just uh, just take a look so at the center when we get a straight line let us name it as north and south so almost similar like a bar magnet right so in the bar magnet what happens the magnetic field lines will start emerging from north to south so i wrote the direction like this the direction the magnetic direction so this is at the end but before that we need to find out magnetic field lines of this circular coil so by taking by take any round a coil and that we need to keep our right hand in all the way and we should find what happens to the circular or direction of magnetic field in the next i have a, i have two video clips which i show what are the Mag the direction of magnetic field based on right hand thumb rule. So if I take this one circle, we'll get like this, right? So we'll get like this. So
So what happens if we hold here? What happens if we hold here? What happens if we hold here? That circular loop. Based on right hand number, how we will get the direction of magnetic field lines? So that we will understood. So after understanding that, we know that the magnetic field lines. The magnetic field lines inside the circular loop will be the same and outside the circular loop all will be the same. That it will be uh, poles and domes. So inside will be the same than, and outside the magnetic field will be same. Okay, this is what we understood. So from this experiment, we know that uh, we will get concentric circles pattern of magnetic field lines and circles become longer longer when they go away from the conductor and every point of a concentric circles will show the magnetic field lines and we'll get the direction of magnetic field line field line will be same inside the circular loop so inside the circular loops are same is in the outside the magnetic field will also be same so these are the points which we should remember under the circular loop and here we have one more thing that is factors affecting magnetic field so we have Two to three points. Let us learn what are they. Overall, by this experiment, we can say that magnetic field is directly proportional to current passing through the conductor and inversely proportional to distance from the conductor. That means as the distance goes, the concentric circles loses the strength of magnetic field, right? And the magnetic field is directly proportional to number of turns in the coil. That means as a Turns, the circular loop has turns increases, we get the uh, we get more strength of magnetic field lines, and we can say that magnetic field is additive in nature. That is nothing but related to this point. That we know that if we have a more turns of uh, copper coil, the magnetic field of one coil will adds up to the next coil. That means the magnetic field of each coil will get adds up, and this happens due to the current flowing in all the magnetic uh, turns of a magnetic field will be same. So hence we can call it as additive in nature. So these are some of the points which we need to remember here. Now I hope after uh, watching the uh, clips also you understood how to determine the direction of magnetic field from the right hand rule and hope you clear this topic. Magnetic field due to current to circular loop. Let us understand through practical activity. Observe carefully. Look at this video. Everything is set up in inside the glass lab. That is iron fillings and copper wire as circular loop has been set up. When we pass the electric current through this, it goes through the loop and generate magnetic field lines. Now observe carefully. We are getting the pattern of magnetic field lines. The iron fillings are arranging themselves and reveal the pattern to us. And observe here. The concentric circles representing the magnetic field around it would become larger and larger as we move away from the wire. By the time we reach at the center of the circular loop, the arcs of this big circle would appear as a straight line. Observe in between the wire we can observe those arcs as a straight lines we need to find out the magnetic field direction where the concentric circles are produced using right hand thumb rule now i will take one concentric circle and explain you using right hand thumb rule look at this diagram it shows the magnetic field direction using right hand thumb rule see how we hold the circle in our hand that is a thumb is showing direction of current and the fingertips are showing the direction of magnetic field in the similar way we'll do on another side of the circle so here also using right hand thumb rule we get the direction of magnetic field lines in the first case we observe that it is in clockwise direction whereas now it is in anti-clockwise direction Now observe the direction of magnetic field lines inside and outside the copper wire circular loop. 
see we can observe that the magnetic field inside the loop is pointing upwards and outside the loop is pointing downwards and this will apply throughout all the spots of the circle so let us recall inside the loop it is pointing upwards and outside the loop it is pointing downwards so now let us see a magnetic field due to current in the solenoid now let us see what is solenoid solenoid is nothing but a coil of many circular turns so this is one circular turns a coil of many circular turns so many circular turns of insulated copper wire which is closely wrapped in a cylindrical shape so solenoid is nothing but if you take a straight wire a straight conductor we can make one circular loop right so if we keep on making those circular loops almost wrapped closely and we will get the solenoid which looks like this and we know in a ball point pen we have some spring like spring like material right that is nothing but the shape of solenoid so this is what solenoid so look at the board so we can say that a coil of many circular turns of insulated copper wire wrapped closely in cylindrical shape so this is our solenoid you see it has two ends so these ends are connected to complete the circuit diagram so it is be positive and negative with a key so just recall what is studied in a circular loop in a circular loop we got a magnetic field lines from two sides right from a and b right so here also we will get a magnetic field lines from this side and another end so another end another end so we will get magnetic field lines above and below of the solenoid so we will get number of turns i only wrote a few so we will get number of turns right so now what happens when we start uh, this is also we should take the iron fillings to know the pattern of magnetic field lines so later i'll show a clip so you can understand through that okay so here we will get a magnetic field like this and as i told same thing we will get below also right so here also so like this oh it's not even for me So like this we get a magnetic field lines so remember the magnetic field lines should be drawn from the inside of a solenoid so don't just uh, write here and all okay so this is how magnetic field lines this is the format this is the pattern how we will get from the current carrying solenoid so here we can observe that just compare with the last one in a circular loop as the circles we are getting more and more it will form straight lines inside the solenoid which are parallel to each other which are parallel to each other okay so now just take a look is this resemble with any which we studied in earlier so just recall the bar magnet in a bar magnet we almost got the same type of magnetic field lines right if this is our Uh, let it be so, or let it be not. So this is our south and north. Just re uh, recall yourself. The same thing we got in a bar magnet also. So here, first we need to define what is solid or not, and second part we can say that this resembles to magnetic field lines in a bar magnet. So what happens there? The magnetic field lines will start from north to south. Direction is like this, and again we can observe the same thing. What happens? The direction of magnetic field lines outside the bar magnet is from north to south, and inside the bar magnet was from south to north. So here also the bar, the direction of magnetic field inside the solenoid we are getting from south to north. So this is almost similar to bar magnet. And here we will get the uniform magnetic field lines which are parallel to each other. So just remember.
remember the term uniform. So we get uniform parallel lines only inside the this solenoid. Okay. So this is the points here we can write. And we have one more important thing is so inside the this coil. Uh, let me write here inside the coil. Here we are using one soft iron. So here we have one soft iron. The purpose of the soft iron is to give to the strength of this magnetic field lines. So if you use the soft iron, it is nothing but other. we have like hard iron and soft iron. So soft iron which is easily magnetized and easily demagnetized. Whereas a hard iron, it is difficult to demagnetize. So here we are using soft iron to uh, what? Uh, uh, to get a strength of magnetic field lines and here we are using soft iron because it has a easy to magnetize and demagnetize nature. So here if they ask you to show how we will use a soft iron inside the magnetic uh, solenoid we should write this picture. So I hope you understood. So what are the points we will write under the solenoid? First uh, define the solenoid, next it will almost resembles the magnetic field lines in bar magnet. So since it resembles a bar magnet, can easily give the direction of magnetic field lines from north to south outside and inside south to north. And here we are using soft iron core. Oh, so these are the points under the solenoid. Observe the video. Inside the coil, that is solenoid, we are taking soft iron here and we are pouring, we are sprinkling iron fillings around the solenoid on a cardboard sheet and the terminals are connected to a battery now just by tapping that cardboard sheet just observe the magnetic field lines are getting exactly similar to the magnetic field lines in bar magnet so watch properly understand both are similar that is magnetic field lines are similar in both solenoid and bar magnet now let us uh, solve our three questions that is in text question so we have the magnetic field in a given region is uniform draw draw a diagram to represent it listen carefully the magnetic field in a given region is uniform draw a uh, diagram to represent it uniform where you will get a uniform so inside the solenoid so you should write this diagram only. Okay, next one more. Look at this next question. The magnetic field inside a long straight solenoid carrying conductor, the given core option is a zero, decrease as we move towards its end, increase as we move towards its end is the same at all point. So read the question again. The magnetic field inside a long straight solenoid. So in a solenoid we will get like this. So here what they are asking, inside a long straight solenoid, since we have a uniform parallel lines, what happens, the magnetic field will be same at all the point, hence the answer is D option. So these are the two questions and we have one question, take this question as a homework, I will teach you in the next class, you try yourself one time, okay. So this is what about a pattern of magnetic field lines, so in the next class we will continue the different topic again it is really related to magnetic field lines and all okay so be up to date with your classwork try to solve all the homework problems if you not understand watch it again read the textbook as a reference don't only depend on the notes so by reading both textbook and the notes be prepared with the content thank you